He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We thank you for being here with us this day on Easter morning. We rejoice in who we are together and the opportunity to worship our risen Lord. I have one announcement for today before we greet one another. I need your help. Uh, all the pastors here, we, we need your help. All the members of Hales Corners Lutheran Church, we need your help. Let me, let me demonstrate for you how I need your help. Um, is there anybody who is a member of Hales Corners Lutheran Church that you don't know? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a new pictorial directory. I have looked at the one we did like eight years ago, and y'all, you, you don't look like that anymore. <laughs> um, and, and so we need to do a new pictorial directory, but this, this instrument for helping your pastors, for helping all of the family of God get to know one another better, this instrument is only as good as the number of people who have their pictures in the directory. So during the months of April and May, we're going to get our pictures taken. You'll be hearing a lot more about this. Uh, we're going to be getting our picture taken so that we can get a new family portrait album. So please, please do us the favor. Get your picture taken. Get signed up, get there, get your picture taken. Let's greet one another with, uh, with He is risen, He is risen indeed.
Darkness has done its worst. Christ is risen. In this Easter celebration, we examine the darkness of our sin so that we see our need for our Jesus, the light of the world. We consider our thoughts, our words, and our actions that we know are against God's commands so that Jesus' victory over sin, death, Hell and the power of the devil dispels our darkness. So one-on-one -on -one between you and Jesus, as the music plays, examine your life this Easter day. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Christ has triumphed. He is living. Alleluia. He is the light of the world. Because he has experienced what you go through, and he is triumphant, you know that you can go to him. He can dispel all your darkness. No matter how dark your circumstance feels, remember that He has called you by name. He has called you into His marvelous light. His resurrection is your resurrection. Therefore, the victory of the Christ is your victory as well. We pray to our Father in the power of that victory this day. Heavenly Father, we have been on this journey following your Son through his life on earth, seeing how it parallels ours. We have followed him to the cross. We have laid him in the tomb. And this day, we remember how he is risen. Remind us this day also that we rise with him so that you would take away our sickness, that you would take away our shame and our pain and replace it with the hope that comes from an empty tomb on Easter morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice for us. We thank you for your victory over all our enemy. 
Jesus, you are the light of the world. You are victorious. And with faith in you, so are we. Give us daily that power of your resurrection and teach us to pray even as we sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Please be seated. At this time, we invite all the children forward to have a special message with Pastor Leon. So I need your help. I need your help this morning, okay? So your moms and dads, everyone here this morning on, on Easter have been saying something. When, whenever someone says, he is risen, they always respond by saying, he is risen indeed, hallelujah. But here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I know you can be a lot louder than they are. So what we're going to do in just a moment is I'm going to say, he is risen, and you, you, from everything within you are going to call out, He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. You think you can help me with that? Yeah, I know you can. And I know that you could be so loud, so loud that everyone in Hale's Corners is going to hear you. I know you're going to be so loud that everyone in Chicago can hear you. Are you ready to go? All right. So I say, He is risen. You say, He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Now, to do this, I think you need to stand and turn around. Get your video cameras ready, Mom and Dad. <laughs> All right, don't forget what you're supposed to say as loud as you can. Are you ready? He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Awesome. Awesome. Now, how about all together, we say that as loud as we can. Moms and dads, everyone here worshiping, everyone way, way and back, as loud as you can, so loud that everyone in St. Louis can hear us. He is risen! He is risen! Hallelujah. Hallelujah! That is why we are here today in church. We are here to celebrate, to celebrate with great joy, because just a few days ago, 
it was Good Friday, and we were very, very sad. Can you make a sad face for me? We were very, very sad. We were sad because Jesus died. He died on the cross. But today, today we're very, very happy. Can everyone make a really happy face for me? Make a really, really happy face. Today we're happy because Jesus rose from the dead. And I brought something with me today. Can you guys, uh, can you guys tell me what this is? Anyone know what this is? It is a flower. Anyone tell me what kind of flower this is? What is it? Lily? It is a lily. This is an Easter lily. And this Easter lily, it reminds me of Easter in, in this. When God created the world, when he made people, he made them perfect. Like this, this beautiful lily. But something happened. Something changed. Do you know what? happened? Do you know what changed? Do you know what changed? Jesus did die. Praise the Lord. What happened in the world that changed everything that was beautiful? Do you know? Keep thinking. What happened? Sin. Sin is the wrong things that we do that make God very, very sad. Sin changed what was beautiful, what was good. Can, can you tell me, can you tell me what are some of the, what are some of the sinful things? <clears throat> what are some of the bad things we do uh, against God? Give me one. Uh, so when mom and dad say, get off the TV, and you don't. Yeah, that, that is a bad thing. That is a bad thing. What else? What else? Yeah. When you don't clean your room and mom and dad ask you to clean your room. Yeah, when we disobey mom and dad, that, that is not a good thing. That's, that's a bad thing, isn't it? How about over here? What, what about you? What's another sin? Punching someone. Ooh, punching someone. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, is a, that is a bad thing. That is a bad thing. What else? Telling lies. Even if they're a small little white lie, that's a sin. That's a sin. That, that is a bad thing. That is a bad thing. Yeah, give me one more. When you say mean and hurtful things, mean and hurtful things, maybe you gossip. That is a, that is a bad thing. Look at this. What was beautiful, what was beautiful is, is no longer beautiful. What was good is no longer beautiful good is it it's no longer good it's no longer beautiful that's what sin does that is the bad news but today is easter today is easter and today today there is good news there is good news because god loved you god loved you so much that he went to the cross and he died on the cross jesus who was perfect who never sinned he makes you clean, white as snow, forgiven of your sins, and that, that is why we come here today to celebrate together, because God loves you, Jesus has forgiven you of your sins, he is risen, he is risen indeed, Alleluia. Will you pray with me? Echo my prayer. Fold your hands and repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For loving me. For loving me. For taking away my sin. For taking away my sin. And making me perfect. And making me perfect. Before God the Father. Before God the Father. Amen. Amen. Hey, before you go back to sit with your moms and dads, we've got some, uh, some baskets with a reminder of what Jesus has done for you, that he's shined light into your darkness. So make sure you get some. we got some helpers in back that will help you as well. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Oh, one at a time. Hey, 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 hey. One at a time. One at a time. Let's go. There's plenty. One at a time. Okay. Oh, you lost your. Here you go. There you go. There you go. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter.
Do you have a brother or sister? Do you have a sister? Take that to her. That's an Easter. There's some back there, guys. I'm all out. They've got some right up there. They've got some. <coughs> Thank you, sweetie. Happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you. Does it matter which one you get back, or would you just take any one? Okay. And now, now we respond to God's great goodness as we collect the offering. There's a peace in No. 
please stand. The earliest creed records the sacrificial death, burial, resurrection, and post-resurrection appearances of Jesus Christ. It is very specific and full of eyewitness testimony. We proclaim together with St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 through 8. For I I delivered to you, you, first first of all, that which I also received. received that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that He was seen by Cephas, then by the Twelve. After that, He was seen by over 500 of the brothers at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but But some some have fallen fallen asleep. After After that, he was was seen by James, then by all the apostles. Then last of all, he was seen by me also, as by by one born out of due time. The scripture reading comes from Matthew 28, the first 10 verses. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Please be seated.
young and old from every land, men and women of the faith. Come those with full or empty hands, find the riches of his grace. Over all the world his people sing, sure to shore we hear them call. The truth that Christ through every age, our God is all in all. Rejoice! It was Easter Sunday, and the pastor wanted to do something special for his sermon, so he decided he was going to do a little bit of demonstration, and, and so he, he found him four worms, that's right, four worms, and, and he brought him into the sanctuary, and in the beginning of his sermon, he, he put one of the worms in a container that was full of alcohol, and uh, one of them he put in a container of cigarette smoke and then one of them he put in a container of 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 chocolate syrup and then the fourth one he put in a container of good clean soil and then he went to preaching away and at the conclusion of his sermon he came to the four containers and 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 he looked inside and was ready to make his point and he said the first worm in alcohol dead the, first, the second worm in cigarette smoke, dead. The third worm in chocolate syrup, dead. And the fourth worm in good, clean soil, alive. And then he looked at the congregation and he said to them, what does this teach you? And Maxine, who was sitting in the back of the church, stood up and yelled at the preacher and she said, as long as you drink and you smoke and you eat chocolate, you won't have worms. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Because you see, those are the people who are comfortable at Hales Corners Lutheran Church. If you, if, 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 if you, if you got a little bit of vice in you, would you, would you raise your hand? If, if, if you got a little, if you got a little chocolate syrup thing, if you got a little, little tobacco thing, if you got a, oh Lord, forgive us, but, but we've got our, but we've got our vices, right? And, and so people who have those kinds of things, they, they find their way to this altar and they find a home here because of our King Jesus on this day. But it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. It's not just our vices. It's our brokenness. It's our sin. It's our fear, our failure, our frustration. It is our sickness, our disease, and our grief. People with all of those kinds of things and more find their way to the altar of God here at Hales Corners Lutheran Church because here they meet with King Jesus. There was a lady. She was an old lady, so it can't be either one of you. <laughs> she was born in 1931. Her name was Rose. And from the day she was born, she has been a member of this church. Good Friday, she was with us in worship. We hadn't seen her for a while. She was with us in worship. And in the afternoon, her and, and her husband Dick went home to lay down to rest. And she went to see Jesus. We know what it means to grieve. 
And Dick is just like me. Dick is just like many of us brothers. He was not designed for her to go first. Guys, you know what I mean? He was not designed for her to go first. So that brother's going to need our prayers and our love. But understand, understand the hope that they have in the midst of the fact that Rose has appeared before Almighty God in heaven and he has said to her, well done, come receive the inheritance that has been prepared for you since the creation of the world. For you see, that woman of God, that woman of God knew about her own vice, her own sinfulness, her own brokenness in body and spirit. She knew about it all. And until you know about the darkness, until you know about the sinfulness and the vice that it goes on in your life, this, this Christ, this Christ of the, of the crown of thorns who was willing to go the whole way and suffer this for you, he will not mean what he wants to mean in your life. Until you know about your sin and your darkness and your brokenness and your death, then, then the Christ of the cross will not mean what he is meant to mean by Almighty God in your every day. Until this Christ, until you understand your darkness and the darkness of this sin-filled, broken world, then the light of Christ will not dispel it. Until you understand the Christ of the cross, the Christ of the empty tomb, King Jesus will not mean what he wants to mean for you in your life every day. Every day. We have been going through the story, the Bible, from cover to cover, and we have looked at all kinds of different passages and stories but in the beginning when it was good it got broken very very badly and Jesus and and almighty God our father comes to the garden to have a conversation with Satan himself and he says and I will put war I will put enmity between you and the woman between your offspring and hers he one down Eve's family line is going to come and crush your head, Satan, but you will strike his heel. And so the promise was put forward all the way back in Genesis 3.15, all the way back from the moment that it got all messed up, and Almighty God promised us a Messiah to come, and all those Old Testament believers in Jesus began to hope for this Messiah who was going to come. And when the time was right, when the time was right, Jesus was born. Lived his 33 years perfectly without sin because I, you, we could not, would not. And so Almighty God took on the journey of the crown of thorns, took on the journey of the cross for you, for me. That we would be free, that we would be forgiven, and that we would be children of the King. Another passage in the Word of God that I want to share with you this day is from Paul in Philippians. He says, Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Because you see, it is not just about a crown of thorns. It is not just about a cross and the suffering and the denial and the betrayal and the brokenness and the loneliness of the cross. He is my Savior. He is your Savior and has bought for you forgiveness of sins. But He is also King Jesus. He is also my Lord. 
For you see, the word of God says to us that there is no other name. And every knee will bow. And every tongue confess. And so Almighty God comes to this, us on this resurrection day. And he says to us, your death has been swallowed up in victory. And if that was all there was, if my faith was only good for that moment where my body stops pumping and it's determined by God whether I go up or down. If that was all my faith was good for, that would be enough for me to worship and to serve him every day of my life. But there is so much more. From this day to the day that he gets me home, I have life to live from this day to the day that he gets you home, you have life to live. And almighty God sent his son Jesus Christ to live, to die, to rise again, to buy for you victory in your life every day. The last passage I want to share with you is again from Paul, but this time, this time it is in Romans, Romans chapter 6. Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus, raise your hands if you have been baptized into Christ Jesus. Raise your hands if you believe in Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And so this passage is about you personally. Listen, don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus, that we were baptized into his death? We were therefore connected. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death. In order that the reason that he came and the crown of thorns took place, the reason that he came and the cross took place is so that, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. You see, your Easter day, your resurrection day, this new life day, it's not just about the fact that death has lost its sting. It is not just about the fact that heaven is yours by the grace of Almighty God. It is also about the fact that there is new life for you to live in this day, in these days, that no, long, that no matter how dark life ever gets, either in here or out there, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And he can dispel your darkness. No matter, no matter what life throws at you, with Jesus Christ there with you, his power not your weakness, his victory, not your loss, his strength, not your fear, confusion, or failure. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, this new life, this new life for those of us who believe in him gives to us the opportunity that every day we are meant to be resurrection people Every day we are meant to be new life people. Every day in this new life before you, live it as an Easter people. I want to close this sermon by doing this thing. I say he is risen, you say so am I. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. I say he is risen. You say he is risen indeed. Hallelujah. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We pray. Dear Lord, make us a resurrection people. Dear Lord, make us a new life people. Dear Lord, resurrect our faith in you 
who are our Savior and our King. In your name we pray. Amen. We stand. It is with great joy that we remember that on the night when he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, that when he had given thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way he took the cup, and after he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Take and drink, this is the New Testament in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Do this often in remembrance of me for you a savior for you a savior that has died for you to take away your sins and a gift for you to strengthen you in your walk as a rex resurrected child of God if you believe that that before you in with and under the bread and the wine is the body and the blood of our savior Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins and strengthen you in your walk of faith, then we invite you to come and to take part in this gift, for these are the gifts of God for God's people. You may be seated. the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. The sun time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul worship him Oh, 
worship your holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years. And then forevermore. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your. Came sin, who knew no sin, that we might become his righteousness. He humbled himself and carried the cross. Love so amazing. Love so. Jesus Messiah, name above all names, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sin. Blessed Redeemer, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, 
the rescue for sinners, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. Take any true body of Christ given for you. Very body of Christ given for you. Take any true body of Christ. Very body of Christ given for you. I hear. Say, thy strength indeed is small, child of weakness, watch and pray, find in me thine all in all, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe, sin had left a crimson stain, he it white as snow. Everybody of Christ, give us your Lord, now indeed I find thy power and thine alone can change the leper spots and melt this heart of stone. crimson stain he washed it white as snow died my soul to save my lips shall still repeat Jesus paid it all all to him I owe sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow the one who paid my debt and raised this life up from the dead oh praise the one who paid my debt and raised this life up from the dead oh praise the one who paid my debt and raised this life up from the dead oh praise the one who paid my
stand and sing the second verse. <laughs> Jesus, my May this true body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in the true faith to life everlasting. Amen. We speak together these words of thanksgiving. Thankful hearts and voices raise. Tell everyone what God has done. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice and bear Christ's holy name. Send us with your promises, O God, and lead us forth in joy with shouts of thanksgiving. Darkness has done its worst, but Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The God of peace, who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, make you complete in everything good so that you may do God's will, working among you that which is pleasing in God's sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. Amen.
Happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter to you. Oh, thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, guys. Have a good day. Okay.